This is a star image taken in uh, Idaho uh, by uh, Dan Orr. Dan and Betty Orr were here taking a Lightroom class, and one of the subjects they wanted to get into was the star photography and how to adjust raw files of star images. And it, we got sidetracked on it, and it actually was a lot of fun uh, working on these. Uh, I've done a couple myself, but uh, had not really done that much with raw files. And raw file has a lot of latitude, and that's what's really important when you're doing star because star uh, exposure can be way off dark light whatever and you need to be pulling it back in so before we go into Photoshop and actually start working this we want to get the the Milky Way really bright over the house so that's one of the things we want to do is so we want to just bring the exposure up first let's just bring it up really bright so we can work with it and it's also picking up some color in your red and so why don't we take the white balance tool and let's just go into the black area right in here uh, towards the red so we can sort of neutralize it actually even more the closer we get the more it takes out that looks pretty good right there and so let's just bring the exposure up a little bit more and one of the things we can do is do clarity and then just contrast saturation it does a lot of different things to the image and so we're going to bring up I'll see all the stars coming up uh, pretty awesome let's bring the exposure up a little bit more and we can always take this down later but we need to let's bring up a little bit of shadow detail so we have plenty of shadow detail in the uh, house and actually we're going to take the contrast down a little bit we don't want it to go too contrasty so let's just go right about there and we'll bring it we can always take this down later in Photoshop but we need to have all the data we can get into this image so that looks pretty good right there so I'm going to go ahead now and open it we have all the data we need to work in Photoshop oh that looks really good so we, we have a problem with the grass down here is a little bright and we need to do a couple of other things so one of the first things we want to do is let's just open the layers palette and because we're working with the layers palette there it is right there okay so I'm going to stretch this down a little bit so it's not so much in the way and we're going to probably be about that much okay now I would like to separate the house and the stars from each other so one thing we can do is go up to the uh, quick select and just start the top of the picture and work our way down and oh there we go we got pretty much picked up now trees are actually in the star area right along here and we really want them as part of the house and the grass so we can go up to the select and do refine edge and go ahead now just drag over the top of the tree right there yeah now the tree mask itself is part of the bottom part of the image same thing over here in this tree area Let's just go around the branches like this make sure we got it all and there we've got and there's a little bit there we want all this mass to select for the bottom okay I think that's pretty much whoop there's one right there there got it they're all picked out so just say okay now it brings it back and you say mm, doesn't look any different well they're actually selected now what we want to do is copy this star area which now is not selecting the trees and put it on a separate layer so we just go up to edit copy edit and we want to paste it in place we don't want it to move so now we have the star area so let's just double click on that and we just call this stars okay and we can actually make this into a layer just by double clicking on it and uh, double click and let's just call this house you know and grass okay there we go now it's both so we now have house and grass and stars okay let's go ahead and fix the grass first because that seems to be the problem right down it's a little bright and so what we can do is uh, we can make an adjustment to this grass now we could go up and try and do it with image adjustments brightness contrast but it's called destructive whatever we do stays we can't adjust it later we need to have some kind of adjustment later and we also want to adjust the grass and not the house on this layer so what we can do is go down to this little half circle here and these are called non-destructive adjustments click on the arrow down basically and we're just going to do brightness contrast very simple now here's the brightness and contrast right here it now I have a two screen monitor so I'm going to have to bring it over in there it is right there so I'm going to take the brightness down now you're going to see everything go down the house and the grass don't worry about it we're going to be able to separate the two and we're going to take the contrast down a little bit we want to so contrast in grass so the key is here we can change it later we can adjust it as long as we have this 
SD file. In other words, it's going to be a PSD file later on when we save it. So now this mask right here allows these corrections to go through the grass, the house, everywhere. We want it to only go through the roof, I mean the grass and not on the roof. So we, we go right here, click on this, and basically we're going to go to gradient and it's going to make a gradient fill in this, this mask right here. If we hold down the shift key and go up like this to the top, See, it, it basically made the grass, it kept the grass dark. It's basically putting the adjustment through this light area, but not through the house. So the nice thing about this is you can change this. You can just go up a little ways, or you can go up a long ways. See, and it has a different effect. We just want to be able to take the grass step. So I'm going to just go up to like this, and basically just the grass. And if I click on this again, I can continue taking the grass down. See, look, I got just the grass down like that. And I continue doing it anytime I want. I can even turn it off if I want to just bring it back. So right now, it's a little too dark. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. And I'm going to close this now. And any time, I can double click on this right here, and it opens back up. And, and you save the file out. You can keep on adjusting it just as much as you want. OK, so I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to go up here to the stars. I'm going to make an adjustment to the stars, in, and I'm going to make them uh, basically destructive. It means I'm going to, it's going to do one time, and I'm not going to be able to go back and correct it. I need that because I need to make an adjustment on the Milky Way separately, and I don't want to have two adjustments conflicting with each other. So uh, I'm going to go up here and do an image adjustments. I'm just basically going to do a levels. I'm going to bring your levels up here. Now, there's missing black up here. See, so we're going to bring this over, bring that black in a little bit. We're going to add some brightness to the stars like this. Bring the stars out. Now, the mid-tone, we can take and basically bring it back down a little bit like this. There, we're getting there. OK, that's very good. So we click and say OK. The last thing we need to do is have control over the Milky Way. We want it to be a little brighter over the house. So we can click this layer. We can come up to the... Uh, tools up here, the lasso and the polygonal. We're going to go to the lasso tool. Now, the last time I used it, I had it set really high. Normally, it's 5 to 10. The reason I set it 75, I just ran a little test ahead of time to see and practice to see where I wanted to be for my tutorial. And I found that 75 was pretty good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go ahead and select around the Milky Way area, just like this. And go up off. Now, if it's not exactly the way you want, First off, you can go Control minus so you can actually see it a bit more there. Now, I can go up to the Select, and I can transform my selection. I can drag it up a little bit and maybe make it a little bit bigger. I can do a lot of things. I can even rotate the selection if I want to rotate a little bit so that it gets the Milky Way a little bit better. So there, that's good. And just click on the check. OK, now all I have to do is if I want to adjust just the Milky Way, I can now go down here to this non-destructive again and go to the levels because I want to work with the levels. And look at this. It made a mask automatically with this heavy feathering, this 75 pixel feathering. I'm all set to go. I can now take and basically bring the black in a little bit. It's going to leave a, a little area. That I'm, going to, I'm going to bring it up in brightness like this. I can bring the stars up brighter. I have a lot of control over this Milky Way that can be adjusted at any later time. So I can take and do this. Now if I turn this off and on, it shows my adjustment. Now I can double click on this anytime and continue adjusting this. So if I say it's too bright, too dark, I can always go back and fix it. That's what's really nice about this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and double click on the hand because I want to look down here. Oh, there's a window. That's a problem with the window. Okay, so if I go ahead and magnify this up right now, we need to fix this window. It's for some reason, he forgot. Dan forgot to turn a light on and light this, or it's in an area where it's not being lit. Maybe there's a blind down. I'm not sure what's going on. But basically, we need to go down to this layer right here, and we need to select some data out of this area right here. We're going to use the uh, whoop, wrong tool right down here, the polygon lasso. We're going to set it like at four pixels. And we're basically just going to capture some uh, data out of this area right here. And there. Now, I set it at 4 pixels, so it's going to feather it just a little bit on the edges. So I'm going to edit and copy it. I'm going to take the selection off because I'm done with that. I'm going to go over here now. 
I'm going to select approximately the same area and come up like this. I'm going to go ahead and now go up to edit and paste special, but I'm going to paste into that area. Okay, so there it is. I've added the, the data back in. Now, it looks to me like it overfilled a little bit right there. So I need to go back up and edit and step backward. And let's just go ahead and try it again. Uh, I'm going to take the selection off. And I'm going to go a little higher and maybe take the selection down a little bit. I think it's too much for the pasting back in. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here. But I'm going to stay a little higher right here and come up and like this. Double click on the hand and go ahead and edit. Paste special. Paste into there. That's much better right there. That looks a lot better. Okay. So we're all done there. We have now uh, all the corrections. And just double click on the hand. There. Now, I'm going to have to go out and get the original file. I'm going to get the, uh, Dan shot both a JPEG and a RAW file. The best way to compare and remove all the edits that you've made is because trying to go back to the beginning on the history, you're still going to have the RAW file edits. I want to see all the way back to the original. See, for instance, I'm going to show you right now. If I go to the history, I go back to the beginning, I'm seeing... I still not, I'm missing the RAW file before the RAW file edits. I need to see everything. So I'm going to just take this for a second off screen. I'm going to take my layers off screen. I'm going to drag this down like this. And I'm going to minus it down a little bit like that. OK. That's, that's our final edit. I'm now going to open recent. There should be a JPEG in there. There it is. And basically just drag the JPEG off there. There we go. There's our final edit, and this is what we started out with. Quite a bit of data was pulled out of this RAW file, and this is said JPEG, but it's, it, the JPEG and the RAW file are pretty much the same when we started with them. Anyway, and again, what's really nice is you can come over now, and you can do all kinds of editing. Let me just show you. I can take That's the uh, adjustment to the Milky Way. This is adjustment to the middle. See, and basically, here's an adjustment down here with the window. All kinds of things you can do with this. It's really incredible. Now, I highly recommend that you now go up and save this out file, save as a PSD, and it will now save out all of your layers so that you continue editing, make adjustments to the grass, the Milky Way, the house, anything you want to adjust at this time. Okay, thank you uh, for viewing our tutorial. You can look at the full uh, gamut of tutorials, Lightroom, Elements, and Photoshop by going to www.underwatertutorials.com. Uh, it has Lightroom 1 through 5 and Photoshop uh, basically 2 through 6 and uh, a little bit of Elements, about four or five versions of Elements, and then we've posted up some newer uh, uh, tutorials on some of the newer versions of all three programs on YouTube. So thank you very much. And